kitchen let's do it together how to store a drumstick you must be wondering what am i doing storing the drumsticks right i had a huge harvest of the drumstick i'll show you the video how how much i have got drumsticks i got nearly 200 pieces of the drumsticks out of it i had kept few for me and the few i have distributed to all my friends who think here in dubai So after this lot the summer which is coming slowly so I thought why waste uh, keeping it in the fridge like this so I'm going to show you two methods one is a very easy way you can just wrap it up and put it into the fridge another one is like we will just give it a little bit of boiling and then we will store it into the freezer so both the methods works well the freezer method lasts very long for minimum six months plus and uh, try making it if you have anything excess like this one way better than buying the store bought so organic because I have never used any kind of pesticides onto it and I have grown it very natural way the drumsticks have a look at the drumsticks now I'm sure you must have had the look at the video how good amount of drumsticks I have got they're not lengthy but very fleshy and the seeds are very small and um, very tasty so I have uh, I have taken so much of drumsticks I didn't want to what happens if you don't do anything and keep it in the fridge just like this they tend to become shrinking they become very uh, small and then they become dried otherwise what happens there will be moisture forming into it and then what happens is because of the moisture it gets rotten so it happens that way storing without doing any kind of you know method of storing like putting salt or anything will not last the drumstick so that is why I am going to do these either you the biggest enemy is the water for any vegetable as I've said earlier also for pickles for storing of vegetables water is the biggest enemy so we to avoid water getting into the vegetables I will show you how I am packing it up you may try doing it so first what I'm going to do is use a knife okay you see the seed you can't even see the seed the small it is just do like this give a small cut like this okay and then do this like that you can just take it out wash it very well wash the uh, drumstick well and then allow it rest outside itself so what happens all the moisture from the drumstick should go and we can start to store like okay so first now i'm going to cut all of them the way i have shown the room of the green part as much as you can and let's start making see how small the seeds are so fleshy and nice drumsticks they are but they're not lengthy that's the only thing if you're looking for a lengthier one then this is not the tree very tasty drumstick and um, if you have seen my videos uh, in previous videos you can refer to how to store mango how to store puppet I have put in such kind of very very um, helpful videos where you can store green peas you can store even the raw mangoes this are normally I do all of them and keep when they are in season especially when it is homegrown and I don't like to uh, use it off at a stretch although I cannot use it every day drumstick how much you can you make and eat drumstick once a week max not more than that then you get bored of this vegetable so this is the best way to store and if you have at home abundant stuff then do this way and keep it so the first method is that we're going to okay put in a plate some towels paper and allow all the moisture from the drumstick to go okay allow it here wash it well and just wait for a while keep it outside the paper will absorb some and also it will dry on its own 
Once the water goes, we will put this into a Ziploc bag or alternatively I'll show you a container where how we can store this, okay? I'm just going to keep it a while. If you are in a hurry and you have no time, then what you have to do is take another piece of paper and start to nicely rub on this so that all the water from that comes out very easily. And then we can do the packing. So let that be there. In the meanwhile, for the second method, for the second method, all I have done is I'm just boiling a little bit of water. I'm going to add a little bit of salt. Okay. Salt is just a preservative and about half teaspoon to one teaspoon of the apple cider vinegar, half teaspoon, normal vinegar also is fine, you can do that. Once this boils, the salt dissolves in the water and you will find the water is hot. That time, we will add in the other washed pieces. Before I do that, I'm going to add in a little bit of the turmeric powder as well. About half teaspoon, okay? Nice half teaspoon of the turmeric powder as well. Let that boil. We are not going to cook the drumstick just going through allow the drumstick in this water for about three to four minutes that's all take in a container like this i put one layer of the tissue paper there paper napkin okay and then now i'm going to put the second layer of the paper there make like this okay and nicely ensure the dry drumsticks are added there. that's the first method the water is still boiling there in the second method. I have still not added what the drumstick there. So this is the first method without boiling. So I'm just ensuring there's no water. Putting it like this. Now I have put all the drumstick there. I'm going to take another sheet. Why I'm doing this? If at all any moisture forms in this, the tissue will absorb. So every two weeks or three weeks, just have an eye if you're... Or this paper towel is moisture there enough just change the papers and put it back now I'm going to put this also into the freezer now this is boiling very well I'm just adding in the drumstick okay just allowing it to remain in that for a few minutes say about three to four minutes is enough and then we will drain off the water. Now I'm going to take this out from the turmeric water and I'm going to allow this cool down completely before I do the packing for the storing. Pack the boiled. You can use a container like how I showed you the first time like that you can use a container. Alternatively, you don't want to use it, it's absolutely fine. Just put some paper there in the down portion. Why we're putting paper is just to absorb the moisture from here, if at all, if anything forms there. Okay. And then now add the boiled uh, drumsticks into that. Ensure there's no water and it's all dry. Okay, so we had left it to dry for a while. And I'm just going to put this in into the bag. If you are looking at space storage, to have enough space to store such kind of, you must be storing many other vegetables. So if you're doing so, then use this kind of uh, plastic uh, bags, these kind of Ziploc bags, because they give enough place for you to store more of the other items like, okay? After you put that, Take another one more paper, just slide it into it and cover it and keep as much as you reach down, okay? The only reason why I'm doing this so that you can put one more sheet. Just cover it up so that there's no way the moisture forms too long inside and makes it watery like, okay? See, we have covered it now. I'm going to zip lock this. 
leave all the air out, ensure all the air is out. Zip lock this and store this. If you are a fish lover, you're going to really crave for it. Tan tan. That's the fish molagatada. What is this? Kappa. That's our dinner for tonight. I have marked the date on this cover just to know how long I have done this back. I have done this for the date purpose. I have put the date today and kept. And this is the uncooked one. This is the cooked one. I'm going to put both of them into the chiller and enjoy it throughout the season. Thank you for watching me. Happy cooking. Happy eating. Bye-bye.